Hi, St. Phillips, it's Tracy Corso, and I wanna to talk to you about an important time of prayer that we as a church family are participating in with other Christians across the nation. Now let's face it, 2020 has been an extremely difficult year all the way around. Most people I know are going through difficulty, and I have personally been through some challenges this year. We are at a critical point, personally, corporately, and nationally. The answer is to turn to God in prayer and repentance. Listen to the following promise of God from 2 Chronicles. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. If there ever was a time to seek God, it's now. And there is significant power in us doing this together. So we as a church are joining with a group of people led by Jonathan Kahn, a Jewish believer in Jesus and the author of The Harbinger to repent and pray. So starting today, we are intentionally seeking God in prayer for our needs as well as the needs and his will for our country and for the world. Today is what's called the Jewish Feast of Trumpets, marking the beginning of a new spiritual year. It's a special time set apart for a new beginning with the Lord. The next 10 days are called the Days of Awe. Our time of prayer ends on September 28th, which is the Jewish Feast of Atonement. We've created a 24 seven virtual prayer room where folks can sign up to pray in one hour increments from the comfort of their homes and feel free to sign up for more than one slot if, if the Lord is putting that on your heart. And you're gonna be provided with a prayer guide via email on each of these 10 days. And we encourage you to take advantage of this time. You know, you don't need to sign up to pray, but we want to be intentional during these 10 days. And lastly, on Saturday, September 26th, there will be a sacred assembly of Christians gathering in Washington, DC to pray and to worship. St. Philip's has registered to receive a live simulcast of this event. There will be nationally known Christian leaders speaking like Anne Graham Lotz, the daughter of Billy Graham, James Dobson, founder of Focus on the Family, Alveda King, the niece of Martin Luther King, and many more. Now a schedule of the day will be posted on our website under the events section. We will, socially dis be we will socially distance in the lobby of the church and view the live broadcast from the TV in the lobby. We encourage you to come and to join us for all or part of the day, whatever you have time for. This is a really critical time for us as the church and we need to be praying. So I'm asking you to join with me, with St. Philip's, and the larger church body to spend this time dedicated to prayer and repentance. Thanks for listening.